Hi, welcome and I hope you're doing well. Here I have the MacBook Pro 16 inch. This is the late 2019 model. What I'll be doing is I'll run the Geekbench 5 benchmark test and at the same time I'll be running the iStat menu to check on the CPU temperature. Let me talk a little bit about the computer here on the specs. So as you can see, uh, it says MacBook Pro 16 inch late 2019. It's running on the Mac OS 11.2.1, which is the Big Sur. Also the processor, I'm be running Intel i9 9880. It has 2.3 gigahertz. And this is a built-in memory of 16 gigabyte DDR4. On the right side here, as you can see, the storage is running on the SSD drive and it has one terabyte on it and it's running on the PCIe Express. If you go up on the power, uh, this is pretty new computer. It has about six cycles on the battery. Now let's take a look at the graphics card. It runs on the AMD Radeon Pro, Pro 5500 M4 Mobile. And it also has the built-in Intel graphics card 630. Alright, so let's go ahead and run the benchmark test. I'll click run here. And what you can do is you can pay attention on the top right corner here. This is the CPU performance. You can see the CPU, what is being used. Right now at this point, it's running on Geekbench Mark 5. Uh, Geekbench 5, there's no mark on it, sorry. And um, you can see that it runs on an 8 core processor. So there's an 8 core running on this Intel i9. Uh, let's see. So right now it's about running at 49 degrees Celsius. This is not a Fahrenheit, this is Celsius. And it's about 53. It is still running. So sometimes you can see that the uh, CPU. Um, it has the, all the blue lines on it, meaning that the eight processor are running on a um, hundred percent. But so far, it's running at about. There you go. It goes on to about ninety-eight percent right now. So you can see that spikes suddenly. There's a big, huge spike going on. That means it's running and stressing out the uh, CPU. You can actually see that the the bars are moving up and down. All right, as the bar goes up, meaning that the CPU is working really um, hard, at the same time, the temperature will go hot. So when the CPU runs working hard, the temperature will, it will go hot on this one. All right, so right now it's still running the test. And I'll show you what is the score after this. So if you have the M1 computer and you want to do a comparison, um, hopefully my video would help you to, to determine whether you want to stay with Intel processor or maybe to go with the M1 chip. Um, so far, I think that the M1 is, uh, uh, in my personal opinion, I think is, is, is pretty good. I like the M1 chip. Um, the same time, the Intel is also has proven for years um, how st stable they are so I mean I like both of them but at this point since this is the late um, 2019 is is one of the last Intel CPU chip so I think it's good to to have this computer and for the sake of you know saying goodbye to Intel later on Alright, so here's the benchmark 5 score, a single core run on 1183. Um, the multi core goes on 6779. Alright, as you can see right now, today is May 28, 2021. The finish test at about 3.49 pm. Alright, so these are the specs. As you can see, uh, Intel i9, one processor, 8 cores, 16 threads. Uh, 2.3 gigahertz so on and so forth yeah so that is that is what it is and this is the graphics card 
So I'll be running the uh, AMD Radeon graphics card on this. Instead of running the built-in um, Intel graphics. I do have a di different video um, that runs on the iMac. Uh, the latest one I think it was 2020. Uh, it runs on the M1 chip. So go ahead and check. I will try to have it in the video um, or maybe in a description somewhere. I'll, I'm going to link the uh, the iMac, the latest one, the 2020, um, to run on the Geekbench test. And you, at least you can get to see what's the score. All right, so here comes the graphics card. Uh, it, it goes on to about 3612, so which is not too bad, I think. I think anything above 30,000 uh, for this result is, is actually pretty good. All right, so uh, this is it. And if you like the video, please click the like button. And if you feel like you want to subscribe or have any questions, please comment below. I would definitely answer those questions in the near future. All right, take care and I'll talk to you later. Bye bye.